Hello players, there can be a few hiccups on the way to VR and this is some common fixes for some HDMI output issues. Okay, so if you're having trouble getting a display on your Rift, let's go through some basic troubleshooting. First of all, you want to make sure that your headset is plugged directly into the, into the GPU and avoid using adapters because they can <coughs> cause some issues. Especially with a desktop setup, if you have the Rift plugged into adapter and that adapter plugged into the GPU, that can cause some issues. So it's best to avoid those if you can. You'll most likely have two HDMI ports on the back of your PC. This top HDMI port on the motherboard is for integrated graphics only. So if you're using that one, you won't even touch the power of the GPU. It'll just completely bypass it. So if you have a GPU installed, don't ever use the one on the motherboard ever. So what happens if you only have one HDMI port on your graphics card? Well, if that's the case, you want to use an adapter in one of the display ports for either your monitor or your TV. Monitors and TVs handle adapters a lot better than the Oculus Rift does, especially if you get a half decent quality adapter. So the adapter that you'll most likely need is a display port to HDMI adapter. So the display port is the one that looks a very similar shape to the HDMI port, but is just got one angle cut out. A link to the one that I use is in the description below. So, we will add the Oculus Rift headset into one of the HDMI ports on the graphics card. If you're still having trouble with the headset connected directly to the GPU, now might be a good time to check that your graphics drivers and Oculus Rift drivers are up to date. So head on over to your graphics card manufacturer's website and get those downloaded. Also, it might be a good idea to uninstall and reinstall the Oculus software and run set up again just in case. If the Rift is still showing you no love, you can try reseating the cable at the headset end. So the cable is plugged in right here. To get to it, you remove the front fascia plate just by giving it a little pull at the edges here. And there, it should come right out. It might take a little bit of force if you're taking it out for the first time. And here, you can see the HDMI USB cable plugged into the headset. Now to get this out, requires a little bit of wiggling and a little bit of force. So trying to do this left-handed, right-handed. There you go. <laughs> so be careful with it. Uh, it does take a little bit of force to get out. Uh, the best motion is to wiggle slightly as you pull, but not too hard. It will come out. And once it's out, plug it back in and it should give you a firm click when it's in. There we go. Don't want to do that too often because it feels like you're going to break it every single time. There is a chance that that cable can come loose, especially in shipping or things like that. But do be careful when you're taking it out and putting it back in again because the replacement cable is about 50 pounds from the Oculus store. The last thing to try is a basic setup test. This is the equivalent, the VR equivalent of a bench test. So you grab one sensor. On a side note, these things are amazing. These are reusable Velcro straps. Uh, link to those is in the description as well. I go through loads of those. So after you've disconnected everything, all the sensors and adapters, plug just one sensor into a USB 3.0 port and the Oculus Rift headset into another uh, 3.0 port and HDMI port on the GPU. After you've got those connected, rerun the Oculus setup and navigate the menus with the Xbox One controllers. If that seems to work flawlessly, then there's likely that there is an issue with the USB bandwidth, which means that you may need to purchase a USB PCI card like this one. I actually have a separate video for that linked in the description. Oh, one last ditch attempt may be just to check device manager to make sure you don't have any exclamation points against any of your hardware in there because that could be causing issues as well. And if all of that doesn't work, unfortunately you may have to contact Oculus support because if you followed all the steps then it's likely pointing towards a hardware failure. Okay, so there we have it guys. Hopefully this has helped fix a few of your HDMI issues with your Oculus Rift. If you have any few or more, let me know what they are in the comments below. And if you've solved them using a different method, let me and everybody else know in the comments below, that would be a great help. Now with laptops, of course, there are a couple of subtle nuances and caveats that may affect things in slightly different ways. And I'll try and get to those in another video. But until next time, keep playing.